Nopes can't be with us tonight. He's back in Queensland at the moment, but he's been good enough to join us on the line. David, thanks so much for joining us. And first of all, how do you reflect on your first season in charge at Arden Street? Yeah, good evening, Nige. Um, yeah, with a lot of positivity, um, a lot of excitement, I think, going into to next year. We've certainly laid uh, a really good foundation. Um, but, yeah, no, I was, I was thrilled with, uh, with our ground that we made, um, certainly in the second half of the year. The floor is yours to address everyone on what's been a really good season of growth. Thanks, Nige. Uh, congratulations to all the award winners so far and, and good luck to, to the players in the last few rounds. Our first year completed and it was one of firsts, some ups and some downs and quite a few surprises. A new coach, a new game plan, a slow start, 11 debutants, fans being able to attend and then not attend. We had personal tragedies and traumas. We had growth in the second half we had a stunning away win in Perth. We had a patch of consistency, a poor finish in our last game, continued battles with COVID, but lots of anticipation for 2022. Let's rewind back to the start. As we started pre-season training, our enthusiasm was high, ideas clear, as we set about rolling up our sleeves. We could see the building blocks were there, but we were a fair way off from meeting the standards that the coaches and the players needed to get to. No one was under any illusions. There was serious work ahead. Although the first half of the year may have looked disappointing, it gave us great opportunity to play our first, second and third year players in some key roles to gain valuable experience in what we call on the job training. To the players credit, they embraced the consistency of our message. They appreciated the simplicity and the discipline of our game plan. And post the buy, we embarked on a rigorous education plan and program around roles. We doubled down on our game plan. We asked the players to own it and to drive it, which they did. And things started to stick. The culmination of these improvements was our away game as we've just seen against the West Coast Eagles, a challenge at the best of times. Being front at three quarter time, we had momentum and controlled large portions of the game, but we knew the Eagles would come. The last quarter was full of belief, full of grit, as we wrestled the lead back from the Eagles to secure a momentous win for our footy club. That performance embodies our spirit as a club. It embodies our values as a club, and it embodies our trademark as a playing group. That is where we need to go, week in, week out. So where to now? We're already looking at our next steps. We've made some exciting off-field appointments with some more news to come in the coming weeks. But rest assured that the meticulous planning and the vision for what we want for our football club is at the forefront of our thinking on a daily basis. From where we started in laying the foundations this year of a new era, it has created opportunity for more growth, for more learning, for more fun and success. My message for 2022 is simple. Let's build. Build on 2021. Build our belief in each other. Build our game plan, our basics, our brand. Build with a thirst for success. Build with an intensity to improve. Build to be better than yesterday. I can't wait. Thanks, Nige. No, thank you, Nobes. Well done on an outstanding first season, building the blocks, hopefully, for the club's fifth premiership. Here's to a bright future at North Melbourne. Good luck to you and your team for the upcoming trade and draft period as well.